I closed my first agency client in 23 days, and here's how I did it. First, I'm going to go over what even is an agency. An agency is a company that provides a service in exchange for money. So your service has to provide value and solve a problem in order for people to actually want to buy from you. What attracted me to this specific model was the profit margin, which is around 80%, which is a lot higher compared to other industries. As for my specific service, I'm helping coaches grow their personal brands through TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube Shorts. This gives them more credibility and a steady stream of inbound leads. I'm making it easier for them to close clients by giving them social proof, and I'm bringing them clients on autopilot so they don't have to do outreach anymore. In short, I make them more money and my team does most of the work. I chose this service because I've been video editing since I was 11 years old and that skill is a huge advantage compared to others. I'm a firm believer in the fact that you have to know how to deliver the service on your own before you're able to outsource. There's a lot of agency owners who try to outsource too early and they don't even know how to deliver the service themselves. So. Once they're trying to hire someone, they can't even tell the difference between good work and bad work. So that's why it's important for you to know how to deliver the service yourself. Another good thing about this business model is the fact that you have recurring revenue. So when you sign a client, you usually put them on a three month contract or sometimes six months. So you know for the next three to six months, like there's gonna be money coming in. In my case, I went for a three month contract because it's my first client. Longer contract usually means more risk on the client's end. So I was trying to remove as much risk as possible to make the sale easier. Now I'm gonna talk about how I got my first client and how I did it in 23 days. I was doing three hours per day of cold DM outreach. So my strategy was to send people free value upfront. So I was sending them a free TikTok video and I was like, yeah, here's a free TikTok I made for you. Feel free to post it. I'd love to make these for you every week. By providing value upfront, the prospect naturally feels like they have to give you something back. So once you ask them to hop on a sales call, like usually they're always down. Even though I had final exams throughout this whole process of closing my first client, I still made it like a non-negotiable, like I have to do three hours of outreach per day. I think that was one like very huge reason for my success. There's a lot of people who do outreach for like two days and then, you know, they quit, right? One important lesson I learned is that some prospects, you're gonna contact them, let's say December 1st, they're not gonna convert till like December 21st. Depending on your offer and the price of your offer, there's a different conversion window. On top of my cold DMs, I was doing three to five tweets per day, and I was replying to 10 to 15 people in my niche every single day. And when you reply to people, like you can't just reiterate what they're saying, you have to actually provide value and like add on to what they said. So a lot of the times when you do this, if you're doing it properly, they're actually gonna retweet your tweet. Now you get access to a whole new person's audience. So pretty much you can leverage other people's audience to grow your own. Another important thing is you have to optimize your profile. So you have to make it so your profile clearly says like what you do and what service you're offering. I'll put an example up of my Twitter account on screen right now. You know, I have like a clean bio, a clear banner, and then I'm pointing over to like the follow button in the banner. Maybe that helps with conversion rate. I have no idea. That's pretty much it for my outreach strategy that I was doing. If you guys want a more in-depth guide on how to grow your Twitter account and get inbound leads for your agency, I can definitely make an in-depth video like just on that. Just let me know in the comments below. In those three weeks, I took three sales calls and I closed the third prospect. One thing I kept in mind throughout the whole process is to take imperfect action over inaction. I focused on what was in front of me rather than focusing on stuff that doesn't come up till later on. I didn't even create an onboarding process until I had my first sales call booked. I didn't even like make the contract, make the Google Forms, all this stuff. Like I just focused on what was in front of me, which was outreach. My number one priority was literally outreach. Your income is directly proportionate to how much effort you put in. People who say that they don't have enough time to focus on an agency or really any business model, like they're just lying to themselves. There's always something you can sacrifice to create more time. In my case, I sacrificed screen time, watching TV or watching YouTube, social media, all that stuff. For how I got the three month payment up front, it was actually really simple. It was actually the prospect that brought it up to me. Usually for like all previous prospects in the sales call, like I mentioned this, with this prospect, I completely forgot to mention it because I actually showed up to the sales call seven minutes late, but that's a story for another video. I told him like, yeah, you'll get a 20% discount. You'll save this much. 
And then he was like, cool, man, let's do it. So when we hopped on the onboarding call, you know, I took the payment, I got him to sign the contract and I added him to a Slack channel. The reason why you always want to offer a discount for paying upfront is because the money is more valuable to yourself right now. For me, I don't even have a client yet, right? So if I sign this client, I get all this money. It's more valuable now than waiting, get like this many thousand per month, wait for the next month. Now I can buy all these different softwares so I can scale my agency even more and I can also hire people people to handle certain parts of the agency. So for example, right now I already have two video editors. So now I'm going to briefly talk about how much money I actually spent trying to acquire this client. So in total, I only spent 190 Canadian, which is equivalent to 140 USD. I just had to buy a course and like some little softwares. That's really the best part about this business model. You don't really have to spend any money up front, like $200, like two McDonald's chips, you got that, right? So now that my business has money coming in, I'm more comfortable spending money to acquire more clients and outsource certain parts. So to scale from here, I only need to do two things. So one is provide good results and two is to increase my volume. So with good results, I'll be able to charge two times more for my services and get clients even faster. I'll record a testimonial, put it on my Twitter and my website so people can see, oh, he generated these results for this guy. Like he can obviously do the same for me. And then next is increasing volume. So by doing this, I'm basically negating luck. So if I send crazy amounts of outreach, it's literally impossible for me not to close another client. Unless my email copy is terrible, I'm guaranteed basically to close another client. If I was starting from scratch, I'd probably do even more outreach. I'd probably increase from three hours a day to four, and I'd also start creating video content earlier. The earlier you start with video content, the more of a head start you have on your competitors. Your social media presence is gonna become an inbound lead source, so eventually you won't even have to do outreach. You'll be relying completely on word of mouth and inbound leads through video content. If you focus on exerting content out into the world, like naturally you're gonna get rewarded. So start posting across all platforms as soon as possible and start blasting outreach. From here on out, I'm gonna start posting videos across TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. I'm just gonna be focusing on scaling my agency, scaling all my social media profiles. Yeah, that's basically it. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe and let me know in the comment section below what video you'd like to see next. If there's any part of the process you want me to go more in depth on, I'll be happy to do so. I'll leave all my links in the description below. And if you have any questions, like just ask me in the comments, Twitter is the best place to reach me and that's everything. Peace.